Now, the hospital bridge roundabout is an unorthodox roundabout. What's an unorthodox roundabout, Mike? Left you lane. tell me. He dragged me out. <laughs> <laughs> dragged that... him out on his birthday. Yeah. <laughs> Happy birthday, Mike. <laughs> Oh, are you going to buy me McDonald's? <laughs> I am going to buy you McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> just if you need to get on with it. Don't just move like a snail. Because then everyone gets... People will run into trouble straight away with the meeting situation. Stay on your side of the road. Slow down. And remember, think about not going too close to park. The white vehicle's going to start to pass. I'm going to start to move as it's passing. Yeah. So I flow through the gap behind Absolutely. the white vehicle. What's you know expected of you and what the junction layout is. Yeah. Now a lot of people make the mistake of then leaving the centre lane and going either into the right lane or the left lane and not maintaining the centre lane. Lane discipline. Lane discipline. Yeah. Right, okay, cool. There's no point okay, being so, formal. Yeah. Uh, we're also in a brand new car today. So yeah. we've got the brand new GLA from Mercedes. We are on test roads quite close to the test centre. Yep. Should we take That's a right. drive towards the test centre? Yeah, and let's then do spin this. Round <coughs> yeah, absolutely. Okay, right. So first things first, obviously, we want to have a good look round and signal, always signal. Do you tell people to always signal before they move off? Or uh, sure? Yeah, yeah. We live in London. <laughs> you got to expect the unexpected, right? You got these mopeds everywhere. I'd rather be safe than sorry. You're not the only person on the road. Like you said about the mopeds, yeah. you might come round the bend before absolutely, you pull off. Absolutely, absolutely. Someone could have popped out of their driveway. Uh, anywhere. I believe meeting situations yeah, would be a, yeah, yeah. a big one to uh -huh, sort of talk uh -huh. about. Yeah. It's just people are not anticipating the whole situation as they're going in. I always tell my pupils, just slow right down and if you're unsure, just stop and wait. Yeah. Stop and wait. Yeah, yeah just wait. Definitely. Yeah. Totally don't go agree. into a situation where, uh, you know, you don't have the experience yet. You're only going to get better once you pass the test. Yep. The test Still is only learning. up to a certain level as well, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's always about the experience, right? Yeah, you agree? totally. Yeah, 100% yeah. experience. Experience. The more experience, the easier yeah. it is for yeah. you to assess and make decisions, you That's know, right. and the quicker you can do that, yeah. the safer you can do that. Back to these meeting situations. Uh -huh. Now, with my student uh, yesterday, just before a test, this was a huge thing that was coming up. And what I addressed with her is she's accelerating into the meeting situation uh -huh. and then breaking <clears throat> at the meeting situation. Rock. I would read the situation ahead first and just come in. I always say to my people, the tighter it is, the slow you, you go through that situation, right? So if you see the situation really tight, you've got parked cars on both sides mm -hmm. and you've got a, a van coming towards you, just slow down. Mm -hmm. You'd rather, mm -hmm. you know, kind yep. of slightly hesitate than go into a situation because what I find is pupils are impatient. That's the problem. Mm -hmm. They just want to get through that situation. I said, listen, relax. So just take a left here. So this is going to take us towards Straight the Straight towards center. the uh, test center, yeah. So the bus lane I just used, it's very important to know about at Eyes of West. So we have actually somebody that's on a test behind us at the moment. Yeah. And they're turning back towards the test center. That's so right. you must use that bus lane at Eyes of West. Uh -huh. You use it, you turn left of the lights, you come back to the test center. Mm -hmm. um, so the meeting situation, just running back to that to sort of dot the I's and cross the T's. Wow, it's a bit so, silly uh, crossing out on a on a roundabout like that. Yeah, so yeah. to take care of the pedestrian there, yeah. and also have a look to see the traffic yeah. on the right. Um, so brake first when you see the meeting situation. Look long, depth of vision, mm. see the oncoming van, mm -hmm. see the parked cars. Sort of assess that that is a situation where it's going to get mm -hmm. less space, less space, less speed break as you approach the situation yeah. and then when you get <clears> there like Mike said mm. you can either slowly come to a stop mm. or maybe you can start to accelerate it depends on how the situation unfolds. how the situation is but also very important that you are not rushing through that situation it's very important that you do a lot of lessons with your instructor through meeting situations because the more you do the better you become so going toward the test center it's that first junction here anyways um, it does become very tight here. Yeah. Yeah, people, it's an industrial estate that you're going towards. 
Hence, there's going to be a lot of vans and trucks coming towards you. And if you're reading street furniture, which I am, you don't need to know the junction. I can see bus stops further down the road. I'm not looking straight down at the floor. I'm looking like six, seven car lengths down the road. Hence, I can read the street furniture. Yeah, so that's our depth of vision, yeah, isn't it? Absolutely, really yeah, long. yeah. So yeah. the street furniture is an excellent term to use. Yeah. Um, could you just give a little bit more detail about what street furniture is? So street furniture is could it a sofa? be. <laughs> it could be if you want to think of it like that. <laughs> Whatever you want to think, right? Yeah. So the bus stop. That's our. That's one reference point there, and also it's telling you buses do come along this road. Other reference points could be the islands in the middle. Yeah, you've got signposts there telling you where the junctions are. Excellent street furniture yeah. signposts. Yeah. You could, so that there, Oak Lane there was no through road. Yeah. I can. I'm reading. Yeah, See, what you've got to be you. doing is a commentary drive as you're driving. Yeah. Yeah. So what I'm doing now is I'm reading the road ahead. I've got park cars on. On either side, I can see the oncoming vehicles. There's plenty of room on the right there. Yeah, absolutely. Just slightly slow down. You don't need to, but slowing down for the humps is very important. Mm -hmm. I always say my metaphor is imagine the examiner's got a cup of coffee in his hand. Okay. Don't allow that to spill. (laughs) As well as that. Yeah, 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 I I use that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you got to think like that because what they're looking is is the smoothness as well. So this is the test center here. Now I've lined up on the center line in Mm. line with the center of the road that I'm turning into. One of my students called it a partition. So you said you gotta reach the partition. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay. However you think of it, right? But as long as you're getting it in line. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. And then I just stopped there and I yeah. waited for that oncoming vehicle. Yeah. Like you said, don't rush. Don't rush. So I thought, you don't know, rush. I could be turn patient. there, but it, very important that I'm you... on my driving test. Let me just be patient. Again, take the position here. A lot of people turn now and they turn too early. Oh yeah, yeah. And yeah, they go yeah, over yeah. the giveaway line. So make sure you keep that one meter from the left, reach the partition. Mm. and then turn turn yes okay. what you got to think is you got to be the devil's advocate and think hold it what if there was someone coming through and if there was you're in trouble so, <laughs> yes yeah. Yeah, yeah does that make yeah. sense there's no such thing as a car that comes out of nowhere oh, as yeah. long as you're planning ahead and thinking that there might be a vehicle there yeah. then you sort of got the idea and you can prepare and plan for that yeah so we've got a different reverse camera here so I'm just going to turn the wheels to get these lines into one of the white lines. Obviously do my all-round observations, which it says here, check entire surroundings. And then we're just going to put these yellow lines, so I'm adjusting the steering. I don't really like this one compared to my one. Okay, so this is the comparison between the cars I'll say now. hi to the instructor. Yeah, you know her, do you? Yeah, All right. D or B. <laughs> Okay, and then uh, I'm just coming cool. in and um, we've got the red line that lines up Absolutely, with the back yeah. of the parking bay, straighten my wheels up uh-huh. and I'm done. So we're just going to come back out, so we can imagine we're starting our test now, all round observations, always signal, even though, you know... Yeah, signal. Yeah, why it's not? A signal. You've got pedestrians yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. Okay? And then well, the just... way I say it is tell people what you're doing. Yes. Tell people what you're doing. Yeah. They don't know. If, you know, you're following, if you follow the highway code book, you know, and it says, oh, you don't have to signal sometimes, right? If there's no one around. But guess what? You've got to take into consideration pedestrians as well. Or, you know, there could be just someone popping up. So it's important. There we go. So everyone's coming back from their tests. Yeah. yeah? So you can see there. all the examiners coming back there. Mm-hmm. Nice. They all seem very happy. Mm-hmm. The sun's out. <laughs> yeah, sun's out. Yeah, yeah that's the Shades thing, isn't it? Are on. Yeah. All right, now I'm gonna go left here, mm-hmm. and I'm gonna go round, do the roundabouts. Now, I would say, not that I use eyes and worth too much, but I would say going left is slightly more common. That might not be correct. Mm, not necessarily, yeah. I mean, it's up to them. I Instantly mean, they... here, what we got, street furniture. Yeah, roundabout yeah. there, the mini. Read the road. Early you don't vision. need to know the routes, read the road. That's all you gotta remember. Yeah, look yeah. ahead, yeah. look long, depth of vision again. What about these bumps? Now, there is one in the middle. Obviously, uh, I've got my side here. You still got to stay on your side of the road. All right. So it's important that you stay on your side of the road. This is where a lot of people will run into trouble straight away if the meeting situation. Stay on your side of the road. Slow down. And remember, think about not going too close to parked cars. Yeah. Because a lot of pupils do fail 
because what they're watching is the oncoming vehicle. They forget about yes, the parked cars. That's excellent advice. No, excellent advice. It's so common. Watch the parked cars. It's so common. Do you remember back to when you were driving? So yeah. from my situation, mm. my instructor always used to shout at me and grab yeah. the wheel. You're too close to the left. You're too close to the left. All you had to say was just slow down. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> It's like um, here, right? So you just do it very smoothly. If so the way I say to my pupils is edge out because oncoming vehicles, they've got no parked cars on their side. They're automatically going to be on their side closer. So if you've got no parked cars, you move over and you be yes. courteous to the courteous. oncoming. Yes. Yes. You've got to work together with traffic. Sharing the road. So you're thinking of not just yourself, but other road users. All right, so this vehicle doesn't have the bing bong which usually makes me aware of mm. the 20 mile an hour speed limit. Right, right, right. Isleworth, I'm not too sure if you've been here in the past couple of weeks, yes. but Isleworth is all 20 pretty much now, apart from the big Literally, yeah. I mean, read the road. You yeah. Know, read the signs. So here we've got the road, so we are reading the road yeah, here. Yeah. We've got 20 on the road. Yeah. Now, a lot of people will feel pressured, or at least my students say that they feel pressured mm. when they're on this road, mm. because vehicles behind them will be so close, wanting to go faster. Yes, but you've got to, you've got to follow the rule. You're in a test. They're not in the test. Let them overtake you if they wish, but you need to be... So what I say when I'm in a 20 zone to my pupils is, check your mirrors more frequently mm -hmm. more frequently yep. because you got to anticipate the fact that vehicles will try to overtake you so we're going to go left at the roundabout left at the roundabout yeah. this is quite a common route now um early vision early decision so i'm braking slowing down jogging speed looking to the right double yep. checking double checking and then knowing it's safe because i got the early vision yeah made early decision and um i know it's safe to go now, i'd like to tell a story to you as I bought a life out of Mike with my very interesting story, what I'd like to do is take the time to teach you the Tesco's roundabout. We have been given directions to take the fourth exit turning right towards Twickenham Stadium, which we can see here on the footage. When you approach any junction, what routine do you use? If you haven't been taught this, it's imperative and it will help you so much immensely on your driving test. Yes, it's the MSPSL routine. What does that stand for, you may ask? Well, uh, haven't you been taught this yet? It's mirror signal position speed look. Now, I know this can be a lot to grasp at first, but if you do take the time and apply this on your driving test, you will pass. Now, what lane do you use when you approach the roundabout? What way do you signal? Make sure that you use the correct lane as you follow the roundabout and then you exit at the right time. These are all lots of questions to be asking when you're at one junction. Ah, oh, boom, man, brain's exploded. Okay, mirrors, yes. Signal, yes. Position, yes. Speed, foundations, jogging speed, walking speed, look. Now, I've applied all of this as I've approached the roundabout. Oh, deep breath, <laughs> relief. It's gonna be a lot easier. If you wanna make it a lot simpler, just approach the roundabout at a slow speed. First exit here on the left, Thames Water. A lot of people don't see that because they're looking to the right so much, which you need to do, because you need to stop if there's a car there. Second exit straight on. Third exit, Tesco's car park. Fourth exit, so as we pass the third exit, mirrors, signal, what mirrors? Uh, interior mirror, left mirror, signal left, and use a little bit of speed as you exit the roundabout. Now, Tesco's, you might go in here, third exit turning right and do the bay park. Make sure you do it at appropriate speed. Be ready to stop if there's a hazard. Ah! We went past the Tesco's and did the fourth exit turning right, which has led us here to Twickenham Stadium. Okay, and towards the Witten Road roundabout. I need to sort of remember the names of these roundabouts. Yeah. We're going to turn right, okay, third exit towards the M3, which will take us to the Hospital Bridge roundabout. Now, the Hospital Bridge roundabout is an unorthodox roundabout. What's an unorthodox roundabout, Mike? Left you lane, tell me. Left lane's left only. Yeah. I, don't, I mean, a lot of people, they get confused by that. But when I was taught to be an instructor, they taught us all unorthodox roundabouts. 
means left lane's left only, so I use that, but when I use it, it actually kind of confuses people. Yeah, yeah. So how would I you always... describe a roundabout like that? Would you make a point of telling them, oh, that this roundabout is left only? I know you're very much keen on the road markings, yeah. which is the most important part. I'm I totally always agree. say road markings, I'll tell you yeah. why. Because a lot of the times they have been changing it. It's like you saying, yeah. look, yeah. follow street lights, right? Mm -hmm. And it's 30 miles an hour, mm -hmm. but guess what? In case road markings indicate otherwise, right? <laughs> <laughs> that one Am I right? bugs me so much. It does bug everyone, street right? Lights, so, street lights, street yeah, lights. Yeah. What do you mean street? There's 20. Yeah. Street lights is 30. No, yeah, it's yeah. not. Look no, at the and, roads. But the rules are unless road markings okay. indicate otherwise. Yeah. So I always follow that rule unless road markings indicate. Yeah. So sometimes the left only could be then straight as well. Yeah, they change it. They change they? it. Yeah, happens so a lot. Mm -hmm. Read it. It's not like abroad where in America that the signs are hanging up, which yeah. is nice. Yeah, so, so handy. Yeah. yeah, here they need to do that, mm -hmm. but I don't think they are. Well, I'm going to come back to that road marking at the roundabout just after this. This roundabout's controlled by traffic lights. So it's kind of broken into sections. I'm turning right, I'm in the right lane with my right signal applied, and I'm following the right lane. Mm. This is quite nice because it's happening really slowly. So we have the road markings here. Now, the first exit's here on my left. Now, I'm actually going to take the third exit, but I'm going to start to signal left here at the second exit because I'm going to start to change lanes into the far left lane to take the third exit. Mm. Now, that sounds very confusing, even though I know what I'm talking about. Well, I, I always say, look, if the junction you're going into, if there's two lanes in there, which lane should you be in? Uh, sorry, I got the police there, so I blanked for a minute. Can okay. you repeat, so repeat the question? So, the junction you're going into, yep. if you had a look as you approached the roundabout, you should have studied that roundabout as you approached it, right? Yes, yes. Agreed? Good. So, there's two lanes approaching the there's roundabout. There's two lanes. Yep. So, which lane should you be in if you're, the junction you were going into? Turning so you, right. So, you no, you're turning right into the junction, but yep. there's two lanes Okay. In that junction, yep. i.e. Yep. A, a, a dual carriageway, which yep. lane should you be in? Or the left. There yeah. you go. Okay. But with a roundabout like this, it's a controlled roundabout. Mm -hmm. I always say, look, it's a busy roundabout, mm -hmm. but it's controlled. Mm -hmm. So really, no one should be... The only person who's going to be... You've got to be worried about is the person beside you. Yes. No one else is going to be coming around. Yes. Would you agree? Yes. Yeah? Yes. So therefore, if the person beside you can cut you up, check the mirrors more. Yes. Each junction you pass, yes. check, you. Your check your left mirror. Yes. Check your left mirror. Check your left mirror. Good. So every <laughs> you can't go exit, wrong if you're checking your mirror. No. Every exit that you pass. That's how I got my pupils through this. Yeah. They've done this in the test. Yeah. No issues. No I issues. I got told to have a quick look over your you shoulder. You could do, but not not everyone's comfortable. With exactly. That. Yeah. It, and it that, all boils down to experience. That right? go. Yes. They were coming back to that one. We're going full circle now, back to the experience. But also touching on the experience. People sometimes, when they start doing roundabouts, don't have enough experience to even feel comfortable checking their mirrors at every Absolutely. exit. Absolutely. You've got to get used to mirrors. Oh, you That's my religion. Yeah, you know, yeah, you've got yeah. to worship those mirrors, yeah, yeah. make sure Absolutely. you're using them. Absolutely. Okay, so we're approaching the hospital bridge roundabout now, which is an unorthodox roundabout, which means the left lane's left only. Now, the How left do you know left lane's left only here? Because of the street furniture, the road markings. Okay, but how do you know it's coming up then? Because I know the route. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but now, do you know to, need to know the route? Well, in I in the don't test. So, because the reason is the left only arrow is only at the entrance. Yes, to the absolutely. So looking at the arrows isn't going to help me because only now I can see the arrow, and now I'm at the roundabout. Yeah. And what I did is because I know this roundabout, I'm going straight ahead, second exit. Mm. I know I need the centre lane. But there's two lanes approaching. Absolutely. This left lane then splits into left only, left only mm. and centre. Mm. So that one lane divides into left only and mm -hmm. centre. Mm -hmm. So I keep close to the centre line, which brings me into this position that I'm in now. Mm. So this is why the practice, like you said, do lots of practice with your instructors. Make sure that you you understand what's you know expected of you and what the junction layout is. Yeah. Now a lot of people make the mistake of then leaving the centre lane and going either into the right lane or the left lane and not maintaining the centre lane. Lane, lane discipline. Lane discipline. But the most I would say still the most fundamental thing as you approach the junction is 
controlled roundabout again. Yeah. Who are you got to worry about? Is the vehicles on either yes. side, right? Yes. So therefore, yes. check the mirrors as yes. you come up to that yeah. roundabout. As you move forward, check the mirrors again. Yes. Right. Yeah. And then as you're filtering around, yeah. it's mirrors because yeah. that truck on the left was left only. He could have gone straight over. Yeah. You never know. You never know. Yeah. With drivers. Yeah. Pete, drivers will do anything to get past you. Yeah. That's right. true. Yeah. It's true. It's true. So you've got to be the devil's advocate and think. And if you drive defensively, at junctions like that you'll become a better driver and a safer driver as well yes definitely yeah, yeah. you will and you'll avoid those those stats the first year you're more vulnerable to have an accident hence the insurance is high yeah yeah so these are things that you need to kind of go left uh, oh you want to go around uh, oh you want to i'm going to do the full fix oh you're you going to buy me mcdonald's <laughs> <laughs> i am going to buy you mcdonald's <laughs> <laughs> Just not in now. fact in, in fact this is where we um Bay this Park. is where they yeah this is where yeah. they come here it's so very you, common they come here along yeah here. so you can do the first exit watching the zebra crossing it's quite busy because of the fast food early vision early decision mm. right lane turning right full fix it exit one mcdonald's then you go do bay parking exit two kingston upon See, as you're going past the exit, I would say check your left mirror Good, as yeah. well. Centre mirror, three. left mirror. Now I mirror, mirror, signal left, checking the mirror again and again, moving over to the far left lane. Failing to move over to the far left lane, uh -huh. can I use the right lane? Am I allowed to use the right lane? If you're going to take a right turn. Yeah. yeah. What about if, if I don't feel it's safe? To I used to have a huge problem with Why? this. Why? Because I was scared there was somebody there that I didn't see Where? in the blind spot when I, I exited. The yep, in the, in the blind spot. I was always scared well, or that kind like of Like you mirror. said, what did you say to me earlier? Left mirror, look over your shoulder. Yeah, yeah. Blind spot yeah, check. Yeah. <laughs> mirror, mirror, blind spot check. Yeah, mirror, mirror, blind spot okay. check. Do that then. Um, yep, yeah, very helpful. I totally encourage that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that comes with experience and getting your instructor to practice that with you and yeah, kind yeah. of giving you that push to do yeah. that. Uh, what was I about to say? So, uh, what was now, your what was your intention now? Right, I'm going to turn right at the track. Yeah, so lights. if you can see the lights ahead, mm -hmm. start to move over earlier. Yeah, position early. Yeah, position earlier. Do Don't do now. it when there's traffic building mm -hmm. up. Then no one's going to give you way. Now, uh, what I was going to say, I'm going to cancel this because I could actually turn right there. So I put the signal on for... What's happened here? Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> While I'm busy cooking Michael with the air conditioning, let's get busy and talk about crossroads. If you're doing your driving test in a manual car, you must have impeccable clutch control. Make sure when you position in the center of the crossroads, you set your clutch, set your gas, and raise the clutch gently. You do not want to stall in the center of a crossroads. This can be a very stressful situation to be in. Crossroads here, position. How do I position Mike? I would have edged up a little bit further forward, up right, to the island there. Further forward, yeah. so get that in line. Lines here, yeah, yeah. Get it so, in line, so you can see as well. Right, you can so see there as well. How I'm far is my... too far? Well, you don't want to go over the line, do you? No, don't want to go. Yeah, over you the don't line want to get them to change position. Good. Get right. them to become dangerous, right? How do I know when it's safe to go and leave the position in the centre of the junction? How how do you know it's safe? You've got to lean forward and look right. right the way down to see if there's any oncoming vehicles. Okay. Yeah. If they stop, you can move them. All right. You can't be sitting here and waiting. I around. thought I didn't start. Now they stopped. Yeah. Now I move. Yeah. Yeah. So what I do is is kind of what I call is body language, car language. If I can see the car just creeping up and looking at the lights, I'm going to go. You can't be sitting there because there could be another vehicle waiting there. And the most important thing is at a crossroad when you're waiting there, you need to get on with it. Don't just move like a snail because then everyone gets angry. <laughs> It's not even the fact that people get angry. It's yeah. going to be very dangerous. It's, isn't it, it is dangerous. Yeah. You've got to, like yeah, you yeah, said, yeah, you've yeah, got yeah, to absolutely. clear this junction. Yeah, clear the junction. There's other people waiting as yeah. well. And when when we wait in that junction mm. after a certain amount of time, the opposite side's going to stop red, start green, mm. and that traffic's going to start to now cross through the centre of the the crossroads. Mm -hmm. And if we've taken too long. We're now going to block all that traffic and block the whole junction. Yeah. So it's imperative that we have to clear that junction as quickly Absolute. as possible. Absolutely. Do you give a guideline with the amount of vehicles that can wait in the centre of a normal crossroads like this one and the next one that's coming up? I'm in a 20 zone now. Sorry, lady. It's a 20 zone. How many cars can position into the centre? you got to look at the junction. Again, yeah. it's, it could be different. It could be a really tight junction. Yep. Maybe only one car could just okay. come into the middle. And then when does the second car wait? 
The second car, based on the situation, is it'd be behind you, wouldn't it? Behind you yeah. on the pedestrian crossing, over the stop line at the traffic light, That's or right, before. Yes. Assess that junction. Yep. If there's space, enough space for both of you to come out, then mm -hmm. it's it's legal. Yep, okay, yeah, okay, yeah. totally agree. Yeah. And then we got to clear that junction as But the third as car's got to wait behind the line. Good. That's what I usually say. The third say. car's so got to wait. Two cars yeah. can go in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then that third car, early vision, yeah, yeah, early yeah, decision. Yeah, 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 absolutely. And that third car, you know, holds at the line, at the stop line, the solid right, yeah. line, the traffic line. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Right, now, this is all still 20, so I'm just going to make sure that I'm... Uh, very small 20 signs though yeah tiny. would you agree yeah hopefully the cameras pick that up <laughs> yeah they will yep. yeah good and then we've got it written in the roads here as well yeah, yeah. okay mm -hmm. so the lady behind i'm not too sure but she doesn't like you she's not looking <laughs> happy i don't know if that's because of me or something else um but really what's most important is what's in front oh yeah yeah and i've got a obey the speed limit I've got to maintain uh, good observations on the road ahead so yeah. I can plan for this bicycle yeah, yeah. that might come out on the road. Yeah. So I'm not fixating on what's behind me. Yeah. If she wants to try and overtake... She had enough time to overtake Yeah, her. it's her responsibility, yeah. not mine. Yeah. My responsibility is what's happening in front. Absolutely. Yeah. We're going to head back towards ours now. Please. Yeah. Because <laughs> um, I need to... He's dragged me out. <laughs> He's dra oh, dragged him out on his birthday. Yeah. <laughs> Happy birthday, Mike. <laughs> Yeah. Um, no, I was in the gym. Yeah. And he just pulled me out. Straight from the gym. Straight from the gym. No breakfast. No. Nothing. He's a soldier. Soldier. So we just got the last crossroads here, and then we're done. So here's a crossroads. So we just talk about two cars waiting in the middle. Um, I'm the first car, the lead car. So I'm going to go and position in the middle. Now I'm looking ahead and I can see the street furniture, i.e., the road markings, the mm. arrow mm. that's on the opposite side of the junction. So the lane that's sort of more directly in front of me mm -hmm, has mm -hmm. got a right only arrow. Mm. So that means that any traffic that would be facing me as I go into the junction has to go right. Absolutely. So Absolutely. I need to take care that I don't go too far forward. So again, yep. just sort of yep. positioning into the center into of the road. Into the center, aim it in the center. Check the mirrors as well, Wait, see yeah. who's, who's beside you. Now this white vehicle is going to start to pass. I'm going to start to move as it's passing. Yeah. So I flow through the gap behind Absolutely. the white vehicle. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm moving through the junction quickly, like you described yeah, earlier. Yeah, and I'm yeah. not doing that whole snail pace, no, waiting no, for the no, white no. car to go all the way and then uh -huh, move. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Because by that time, the next vehicle is coming. Yeah, and then yeah. I've missed my opportunity. Yeah. Mirror checks for my change of direction. We've got rubble trouble here, where there's rubble there's trouble. Where there's a van, there's a man, look at him. He's going to step right out in front of the car. Mm -hmm. They always do that. 